Hello and welcome to a new YouTube video. My name is Lucas and today what I have for you guys is some footwear that you need for the winter. Not necessarily need, but just things that I'll be wearing. Things that I would recommend for you guys that I get the job done. They're stylish. They do the job exceptionally well, especially in the winter months. And um, I mean, not really any groundbreaking things here, but just my opinion. So let's just get underway. But before we do, Subscribe if you're new, thumbs up, notification bell, I really appreciate it. And let's just get into the video. And of course, first thing in the winter is goes without saying really, and that is gonna be boots. Hello. So first up is going to be boots, and more specifically, hiking boots, or boots that fall into the hiking aesthetic. The first one is gonna be a pair of boots that I wore a ton last winter, and I'm gonna continue to wear a ton this winter. And those are the ROA Andreas boots. As you can see here, they got the Vibram outsole. This all like canvassy material, rubberized, toe cap. Um, not Gore-Tex, but pretty waterproof. Like I said, I wore these a ton last winter and they have tons of different colorways. Low tops, these high tops. A couple different other models as well. And ROA, I mean the quality, you definitely get what you pay for. I would definitely recommend the ROA boots if they're available to you I would definitely recommend the ROA boots specifically the Andreas and I would also recommend going down a half size I had a size 42 and I'd sell them because they're just way too big so these are a 41 and they fit me perfectly so first pair of boots ROA Andreas definitely can't go wrong and the second pair of hiking boots again that I wear a ton in the winter not as much actually because they are suede so I don't really want to ruin them especially if it's snowy and wet and gross but that is the Frecap I believe it's called the T120 I'm not 100% sure but Frecap all suede again the Vibram outsole made in Italy the inside is leather on these as well very comfortable very durable again they grip nicely they are kind of waterproof but since they're suede I try not to get them too wet now, of course, they are very similar to a Danner, and I'm a big fan of Danners as well. The leather version, Gore-Tex versions. So definitely, for caps or Danner boots, um, definitely can't come with either pair. These ones being suede, Danner typically are leather, and these definitely resemble more of like a old school 90s kind of hiking boot, which I love the look of that. So definitely can't wait to bring these out. I'll probably bring them out in the fall here, as it actually snowed a couple days ago here in Calgary, so. Can't wait to bust these out. Uh, another pair of boots that are actually my girlfriend's. She just got them from Reese Cooper. That are the these are the Reese Cooper RCI Trail hiking boots. I'm not sure exactly what they're called, but Reese Cooper got the value on sole again. All leather interior. I believe these are made in Italy as well. Yes, they are. With the thick rubberized out kind of casing around the outsole, whatever you want to call it, with the metal eyelets. Red laces, very nice details, and she actually wore these hiking a couple weeks ago. They held out pretty well. I'm sure she'll be wearing these a ton in the winter. So RCI, will, oh, they're called the RCI Wilson boots. Great option. And um, another hiking boot I will say quickly before I move on to the next thing is like vintage. Vintage ACG boots um, are very cool. Vintage New Balance. You can definitely find some good vintage boots on eBay, Depop, Grailed, whatever, for a good price. Much cheaper than these boots here but you definitely get what you're paying for with these boots especially if they're Gore-Tex, Vibram, the quality made in Italy, can't go wrong. And of course another pair of boots, something that I haven't really kind of gotten into yet but that is the military boots such as like Doc Martens, I know Ore has done some in the past, some infantry boots where you can just go down to the military surplus store and find some military boots, some all other military boots and of course they got like Dan de Meester ones Prada one so if you're looking for some military inspired boots you can definitely get them at every single price point and of course the more you pay not always but more often than not the more you pay the higher the quality but like I said not all the time you can definitely find better quality for lower price if you do your digging um, I'm not too well versed like I said in the military boot kind of sphere of things so I'm not really gonna talk too much on them but definitely military boots can't go wrong in the winter I know my brother wears them in the winter. Cowboy boots as well, you can wear them in the winter, but they're a little bit slippery, so not the best for snow and stuff, but boots, obviously, winter, snow, rain, cold. Keep your feet dry, 
keep your feet warm, definitely can't go wrong with that. And then I'm gonna talk about a few shoes quickly. The Salomon XT6 Gore-Tex model. I talked about these a ton recently, so I'm not gonna to touch on them too much, but they did release some XT6 Gore-Texes recently. I believe they sold out already, so keep your eye on the website if you're looking for a restock, because XT6 obviously very trendy this past summer, and I think they're a very good shoe, a versatile shoe, and especially with the Gore-Tex, it just adds a whole other layer to them for the winter, especially if you live in a rainy or snowy city. Uh, Gore-Tex is crucial especially if you're walking around. And then Morel, uh, Moab Speed Gore-Tex. It's got some nice Gore-Tex shoes there as well. And then a new model they just dropped for this winter are the Winter Mock 3s. Um, I think they're pretty cool. They're like a slip-on model, very similar to the old Oakleys, I forget what they're called. But um, very similar to the Oakleys. Slip-ons, like I said, very cozy, cozy vibes, which in the winter you definitely can't go wrong. Throw on some like parachute pants, some track pants, sweatpants, and these Winter Mocks and it's a great look in my opinion. Not really my style. I would love to try them out. I'm not too sure if I'll pick them up. I don't know the price point on them, but I'll put them up on screen here. But they are the Morel One Trail Winter Mock 3. I think they're I think they're cool. I think they're pretty cool. Definitely not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but for myself, I like them. And another pair of shoes is gonna be the Norda 001. They are mainly for trail running, but they do have like little spikes on the bottom. I have a pair that I use for hiking and trail running. They have the rubber spikes. My girlfriend has the rubber spikes and she also has metal spikes, which obviously are not going to be ideal if it's just like concrete, you're walking on cement. It's just going to be annoying and they're going to wear down easier. But for the snow and the ice, um, personally, I think they'd be a really good option. They do look very good. They're not Gore-Tex, but they are Dyneema, so very durable, very rugged material. They're going to hold up in the winter. They're going to be, you can kind of thrash them around. They're going to hold up very well. They got a very thick Vibram outsole. Um, so like I said, they'd just be perfect, I think, for winter. Walking around in the winter, if it's snowy or icy, I think the Vibe Rail Soul with the little spikes, that's with the added grip. Counts wrong either. And last but not least, I'm going to talk about something again. Not everyone's cup of tea, but personally, I'm a fan. And for lack of a better term, I'm just going to call them slippers. Um, so, not house slippers, obviously, but North Face Thermo Balls. We've got Subus and Uggs. I know Uggs kind of had a big revitalization. Uh, earlier this year and heading into the fall winter I think so they're gonna be huge again not necessarily the boots of course but the slippers and my girlfriend's sister has some Ugg slippers I think they're cool like personally I would never wear them I have a pair of black slippers that I wear around the house I don't think I'd ever wear the Ugg ones out but North Face Thermo Balls, Subus I guess you can even loop uh, Birkenstock Boston's into them which I know very trendy kind of like a meme now but I still really like them a lot and I can you can definitely wear them in the winter in my opinion, as long as it's not too snowy. But thermal balls are good because they don't leave any space on the back. It like encompasses your whole foot, including the heel. Subus, more similar to a Boston, but very cozy, very warm. And then of course the Uggs, a little bit more rugged. They got the thicker outsole and uh, obviously they're very popular for the boots in the winter time. And the slippers I think are gonna be huge again this year. Um, so yeah, those are my must-have footwear for the winter. Just three different items. We got boots, some shoes, and then some slippers, just for lack of a better term, like I said. But um, that's pretty much all I got for this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.